Hi and welcome to Sculpture Shack Tutorials and this particular episode is going to be a, to do the Robin. This is Ruby the Robin and this one is the prototype design so we'll be going for a brown and a little bit smaller version of this. A few different colours going on. Um, there are five animals in this set, uh, which is a crab, a fish, a snake, and a slug. Uh, first off, just put that one to the side because that's the end result we're getting, just something similar to that. With each one of these, I get first to note is that you're either coming from the Sculpture Shout uh, site, from the eBay or Etsy, whichever one it goes on, uh, for the tutorial of this or the video tutorial. Um, or if you on this just from the YouTube or whatever site it's on, uh, I'll put a link in the description ready for the item because each one of this is a step-by-step -step guide. It's not that you can't do this with um, your own clay, it's just a little bit more difficult because it's more explained um, through the basic uh, designs I've got inside this box. So if you have got one, you'll get the small box. Inside the small box there'll be some paper cover on it. We take away the paper and inside the small box, so every time there will be full of your equipment, so what you'll get. So usually you get two pairs of eyes and then num numbered pieces of clay. So here we have a one, a two. Now, if there are two, say two twos, it's not the amount of what of um, clay, it's the step. So that's number two. So don't worry if you've got two of, say, two of twos. There's a three, two, uh, for example, here, look, there's two fours, but that doesn't mean there should be four of them, it just means that's step number four. And then your five will be that black one there, and another five for a black one there. And then there'll be some different size ones that won't have numbers or different coloured ones, these are already made for you, makes it a little bit easier and if it's a different colour we don't obviously need to number it because it's fine because there'll be only one piece. So, you have two, two, so you'll have two of these small ones which will be the legs later. In each set as well you will get a Brunton now, I've not got one in the box from when I've done this, but you'll have a cocktail stick that's been blunted on both ends for safety reasons. Each one of these will be um, a bit of a choking hazard, so I'll put the warning in the description of the actual item. But if you're coming, uh, say, from the YouTube, just make sure that you keep an eye on sort of any sort of smaller children if um, they're using this particular item. Right, so that's everything for the setup, and then we might we'll get on to the actual tutorial. So, like I said, let's get straight to it. So, with each one of these, uh, it's easy to follow along just because each, like I said, at the start is numbered. So, you'll take your number one, and with this one, just quickly get rid of that one by just folding over the clay so it has no number. Because once you've done it, it's fine, and then. What you want to do is just roll it in between your hands. This might be a little bit harder to do because it's when the colours are a little bit darker, sometimes they can be a bit tougher in the colds or a bit um, smoother. So you, whichever it is, if it's harder, just have a bit a little bit of pressure, more pressure, and if it's softer, just do a little bit less pressure. Uh, usually summers would be where you don't need to do as much pressure. It's more winter that you would want to put a little bit more in. Anyway, so you'll get that into sort of just a little in between your palms, roll it around just a few times until you get a almost sort of spherical sort of item, but then you want to just quickly pinch it, squeeze it so it becomes a little bit more oblong. So it's a little bit more like that. 
instead of more spherical. So just a little bit extra and then just fold in and push down the back end. Hopefully you can see that one. So it's got a little bit of a curve in the, so we're going for the back. You see how this curves upwards? So you want the base design there and the head. And then what do you want to do with this? So when you've got that sort of, almost like a bean shape, just get your little cocktail stick, poke a little hole right at the top end of one of them and make a little circle. And then, just let me check that. So, so you've just got a hole there and then you just stick your stick to the side and then just put that one to the side as well. So we'll get these quickly out of the way. So you've got number two, which two is gonna be the sort of tail at the back. Three. Oh, sorry. Two is gonna be the head. Three is the tail at the back. And the two fours are for the wings at the side. So if we do this first, we want two. So you see how this head here we got, just wanna do the same process with this, just if you can wipe away the two first, just to make it a little bit easier, especially if it's the clay is a bit harder. But then again, just wanna do the same sort of thing we did the last one, in between your palm, and roll it about until you've got that spherical shape again. So this time, you're trying to get this shape here, uh, where it's sort of flat at the front, because the beak will come later. So what you wanna do is just pinch it to the sides, and then flatten the top. So pinch the sides inwards to a point. So it's again, it's like this. Um, I've said this in, a, in one of the other videos, just like that. So it's flat, oh, it's rounded here, flat, and then flat there. And then with the side, the profile view, you just wanna flatten that a little bit as well. If you're struggling for a bit of view, you can always get a little bit of reference of a robin and just get that basic head shape. So you see how that's just similar to that one? So I'll just give you a close-up on that one. So if we just get a close-up. So it's, that's the profile view where it goes slightly more down and then the two sides that way. So a little bit more blocky and more rectangular on that one. And that eventually is going to go on top of that like that. But all you want to do is when you, the flat end that's top is the top and then at the bottom where it's a little bit more rounded, just pinch sort of almost halfway a little section up because this is where we're going to attach the clay later. So it just looks like that at the bottom end. So it will go in and we'll do that straight away. Well, actually, no, we'll, we'll stop that but actually, just, just in case um, we have any problems because I would do it myself earlier, but I'm just thinking if, if you're new to this, it might be a little bit more difficult. Um, so we'll do it a bit easier way. So you just want to put that one to the side, that's your head. Get your number three, and you're doing the same thing as what you've done with the first two. Roll it in between your hands. And then with this one, because we're doing a tail, you just want to keep it quite thick, but flatten it into almost a rectangle. That's as even as you possibly can in width. Doesn't have to be perfect. Everyone's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but there you go. That different, sorry, not difficult. So all you're doing, sorry, the camera's been a bit slow to pick up. And yeah, so you're just getting that sort of even sort of rectangle. Then what you wanna do is pinch the bottom end like that, and just make that bit a little bit longer like that. So it just looks like that. It's almost like a USB stick. Then all you're doing on the bottom end of that is just curving it around your finger. To get a little bit more of a curve around it. And then the opposite side to where you put the hole, you just want to put that slightly a bit further up and then pinch and push to attach it to the clay. 
to say just a bit from the bottom, but enough room to actually give it a bit of space. And that, and it's the same with the inside bit, just to try and make it connect just so it doesn't fall off. And if you think it's a little bit stuck still, just roll it in with your cocktail stick. Or if you have your own equipment, you can use um, the proper equipment for it. But that's all you get in there. So it's like that. And then you just want to put that one to the side and you want to do the same with these two fours as what you've done with the previous ones. So if you just do that, and then you want to make that rectangle again, and these are a little bit smaller, so just make it a little bit smaller, because remember these are going to be the wings, and just to make it easy for yourself, just do each one one step at a time, so you're making that one into the rectangle, and you do the same for the other one. Do you see, don't get too confused, two rectangles. And all you're gonna do with this one is pinch one side there, kind of like you did with the other one, except it's not gonna be in the middle, it's just gonna be one-sided. So it's longer one side here and shorter on that one. You just wanna do the same to the other side. Like I was saying, keep doing it all at once. And just make that bit thicker and that bit out. And again, roughly the same size, doesn't have to be perfect. And then to attach them ones, you just want to put each one to the side. Now, the bit that's flatter is going to go towards the stomach area, and the bit that's so, so it's thinner and flatter goes towards downwards towards the stomach, and the other bit goes towards the top. And you just want to roll and pinch that in and do the same with the other one. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Just in, nice and neatly, just make sure it folds on. Then what you've got is a nice, nice image, nice thing there. So when you've got that, you just want to quickly pinch a little bit more, say on that one, just to give it a little bit more texture. This is where it comes down to you, if you want to put more texture in or you just want to keep it quite basic. So I've just lumped that one over a little bit just to get a little bit more shape. So that's what it should be looking like. So it looks like that at the front, the two wings either side, the belly that's already sticking out, the tail, and then at the back, tail comes down, arms come in. So again, just stick that one to the side. And then we'll pick back up the head of this one. Then what we want to do, is just pinch this forward bit where the nose is going to be, or the beak. So it means when you've got your cone white shit one here from your set and just pinch it so the end goes roughly about the same size as that. And then with that, you just wanna just push it on and attach it and pinch and push it again. And if this one drops off, you just gotta keep doing the same thing. Just pinch and push it around and it should look little like that so you'll see the the shape of it come in and then just to get them the beak split up just grab your cocktail stick and push it in about halfway into the white and just best you can it's a bit tricky at first just cut in a little line so it splits that cone shape up into do giving you a, a beak hopefully you can see that on the camera then once you've done that, you just use the top, on the top end where it goes flat. Hopefully you can see this one. Just push in your fingers roughly halfway to make two little indents, which are gonna be the eye sockets. Again, I'm just gonna point out the fact that it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want it enough, and there should be enough so there's a little pinch sort of there, and you'll see it in the head. And then all you want to do then just grab your eyes, wherever you want to put them, just push them in. 
And your eyes should be done for you just because the black, the little blacks in that will roll around too much. I've already done them for you. So it's just wherever you want to point them. And you'll point them straight, straight up, straight down. It's up to you at that point. And you should have a little something like that. And then just put on this to the side for now. And we'll bring back the body. So that's your, your head done. Then what you want to do is grab your red and it should be rolled out nicely for you anyway. If it's a little bit off shape, just give it a roll around you in between your hands again and then flatten it with your fingers. Just pinch it into a circular shape and make this one, unlike the other ones, make this one a little bit more thinner because on the other ones you just want to keep it as thick as sort of you can just to give that definition. But this is just going to be as round. Again, look, as you can see, mine isn't perfectly round. But it doesn't need to be and like I said each one of these is going to be slightly different and with that you just want to rest that as best you can on the front of the body again if it goes over a little bit just resize it you can always re-roll it and do it a little bit thicker to make it shorter if you want just plan that on so it looks a little like this so it's on the front of the the robin and then just quickly put that to the side again near the head. Number five, these are tricky. So these num these longer length ones, these like little sausage things, they're the parts of the leg that are up and they're already done for you. So all you just want to do is make sure they're about the same size. If not, just give them a little roll and squeeze so they are. With the blacks, you want to do the same thing. Roll away the numbers. And this step's pretty tricky a bit more advanced but you're going to pinch the bottom of them so it points out like that then with your finger just roll it around the finger so it has like a fork shape if you've seen the video or done the snake you'll it's very similar to that on how you would make the tongue for that but this is the feet so you just want to make it so it looks like that. Let's have a look. Just so let me zoom in probably on here. So it's got like a little angle, a dip in here on one side and the other bit goes out to the side. It's like that and the top, it has a little indent. And you want to do that with both. So pinch and roll the first bit out. Get your, the best way to do it is just put your finger right in the middle and then use the curvature of your finger just to put it down and then fold the last two bits in to get that fork shape again, or there you go. And again, just roughly the same size. I've made all the pieces. Um, the reason why obviously you get the box from me is because the box already has them set out and the size they should be. It just stops you from uh, worrying about particular sizes and getting things off as well. But once you've done that, you want to get you to forked feet and just get your little sausage shaped thing and put that right in between the middle and make a little leg and just place it right in between the middle push it down with the black it should stick a little bit easier but if it doesn't stick again you just want to use your cocktail stick to attach it in if it doesn't but like I said you don't have to do that one if you're a bit uncomfortable with using the cocktail stick to push it down it just will get rid of the creases as well if you use the cocktail stick with your little tool so then you have two legs that should look like that so, just like that then with them you're just gonna put them to the side a sec just because it'll be easier to do it last with your head and this section that you've cut out, if, it's, if you've folded it back in, don't worry about it, just remake a little hole in the top of that. And that's where that section that you pinned off earlier on the head's gonna go just in, just gives it something to put itself into and just sort of get a light twist and push down to attach the head. Now, if you get, this helps me explain something here. If you get a little bit of color, say on here, just pin, take that color out so I'll wipe it, take it to the side, and then fold it back down. If you get a bit of color contamination, it's probably gonna happen most times, um, but that's why I've given you enough clay to make sure it's fine. But that's what you should be getting, should have a little bit like that. 
it's just the attach and all you're doing with the feet then is at the bottom where that just underneath the breast there you want to just push your feet a little bit in under the top you don't want to make any attachments here they should flatten out themselves and create two little legs and then with the back of the tail that's where you're going to rest your robin now if see uh, what's happened here is that it's squished down a bit it's a little bit on level so i'm going to do it again and this might happen with yourself and if it is doing that just make that top end of the leg into that sort of push-up point again and just like you did with the head just create a little section by digging the cocktail stick in and turning it around to put it in and that just gives you a little bit of an easier way of pushing it in then it shouldn't fall out but you shouldn't need to do it as such if it is falling off just attach push it in as far as it will go so it goes sort of around the clay sticks in a little bit more and just do the same with that don't worry about cross contaminating the bottom just because you won't see it as well then it should be nicely done like that it should gently rest on the floor just give him a little bit of a push down so his feet spread and his weight's going to be taken on the back of this tail so make sure you do keep that thick and personally i'd probably put my head a bit further down and that's what you can do is just sort of set him out and that way you should have a little something like that looking like a nice little robin and he's going to go with his friend here so he is roughly about the same size as that one but he's this one's brown like I said but there you go so it's just as simple as that and a nice sweet little animal to go with the collection and it's just a, a little bit of practice for you really that's what I've got these out there for and to inspire you to do a bit of work yourself and once you've done this and you look at how good that is you can start doing it yourself and maybe even get some clay and start from the ground up rather than using just what I've given you you can do that as well and give it a go by yourself but that's all done and you can put that over on your top with the other ones if you've got them if not just put it there so like each one's going to look slightly different just because um the clays will be slightly different sizes because it's all done by hand um and it's down to the person making it you can make it a little bit more in-depth if you want try and put some texture in or um, have just just have some fun with it basically um yeah so thank you for watching this tutorial video i've hoped you liked it please like share comment and subscribe if you are feeling like i've missed anything or this step wasn't explained very well just drop me a comment in the comment section below just so um, i can try and help you out with that um yeah, so like I said, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one where, um, as it stands, um, I only have the crab to do. It'll be the last in the set to go up. Um, but yes, yeah, so this one's a little bit more ad ad advanced with the leg section. But other than that, they're all quite basic to do. Um, yes, thanks for watching.